Good morning and welcome to another episode of the Monday Coffee Conversation. I've got mine with me this morning. Hope you've got yours. Let's get into it. I had the uh, the pleasure yesterday of of speaking at the Castlewood High School Class of 2021 Baccalaureate. And I uh, was going to kind of share part of the message that I shared with them yesterday. It was, uh, uh, well, those things are always bittersweet i mean you're you're humbled to be asked to do them and you're you're very proud of the kids that you've been around for years and watching them of course graduate but uh you hate to see them leave too because uh, you, you grow you get bonds with them i i'm not a teacher and never been a, a a school teacher but i understand how they get sad at the end of times like this because you know that these students that you've been around for quite a while or are moving on and it's bittersweet but it had had another little annotation yesterday for the bittersweetness because um yesterday of course was june 6th and 26 years ago on june 6th i was wearing the same kind of clothes that they was with the you know the gown and the cap and all that and uh, i was graduating high school which is something they'll be doing in a week and when i was preparing for the message yesterday that that fact laid on me pretty heavy and went right into uh, with what I ended up speaking on. So I wanted to share a little bit of that with you today. Uh, you know, time's a funny thing. You you can't stop it. It, it has good things. Uh, when, you know, without the passing of time, we don't we don't grow. We don't develop new relationships. We don't um, you know experience all these milestones in life with graduating high school, going to college, or going to the military or a job, and, and then developing relationships, becoming married, and having children, and watching children grow, and all those things. So time has wonderful benefits when it when it goes by, but it it's also, um, it's also can cut you pretty deep sometimes, because there's nothing we can do to stop it. There's nothing we can do to, uh, to slow it down. It doesn't have any respective person of what I think versus what you think. It just goes on. And uh, time brings a lot of new people into our lives. You know, if you go to, if you've worked at one place for 20 years and you end up going to another one, then you miss the friends that you had at the old job, but you, you get close to ones at the, at the new job and things like that. And uh, these these graduates are going to be facing the same thing. And that's one thing I spoke on yesterday. You know, when, when I was sitting in the gym at Castlewood High School 26 years ago yesterday, those people I was sitting beside of uh, a large portion of them I'd been with just about every day of my life since I was four years old. And you grow and you, you get to know people. And like I told them, you become a family. Now, not all families get along, of course. And uh, there's people in, in every family that may be the so-called black sheep, but you're still a family just because of the, the time that you spend together and all that. So it's a big change when you leave school. As I told them, there's some people that I graduated with that day that I've seen pretty often ever since the day we graduated. And there's some that I've seen at, you know, major events or catch occasionally just happen to run into. But there's some that I haven't seen since June 6th of 1995. You know, people that I've seen every day of my life. And then I've not seen them in 26 years. And that's just the way of the world, the way things goes. And I've kind of spoke on this subject before, talking about, you know, trying not to let the everyday things of life uh, make you not see what's right in front of you. And we get like that. We get pressured. We, well, we've got to get this done. We've got to get off work and get this one to this ball field and this one to this ball field and then get home. Or, or we've got this coming up we've got to do. And we forget to take time to see things right in front of us. And while we, it's good to plan for the future, it's not so good to focus on tomorrow so hard that we don't see today and I think a lot of times we do that you know 
we will have something coming up in three months and we're like, well, I can't wait till that gets here. So we just, we just focus on that event and we plan for it or do whatever we have to do to get ready for it and all this, but we don't take time to enjoy the day. And, uh, it, it's just the way that we do sometimes we get caught up in things, but it's a sad fact when you look back at three months or six months or 26 years have went by and you just realize all the things you could have missed. So I want to share a scripture this morning and it's from the book of Psalm, uh, verse or chapter 90 and verse 12. And it says, so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. And that can be used in many different ways, uh, many different teachings and all that. But I related it yesterday and want to today as God remind us that we only have a certain time. Maybe not all together in life, which is true as well, but maybe in this stage in our life, we only have a certain time. So enjoy it. And put wisdom into our hearts to where we don't look ahead to tomorrow so much or even dread tomorrow so much that we don't see today. As I told him yesterday, you know, attack your tomorrows with storm, but enjoy your todays. Cherish your todays. And uh, it's very easy for us to get caught up in that looking ahead. And it's a habit that I think would benefit all of us if we could break it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope it's been a blessing. And I hope you take time today, even if it's just when you're sitting around drinking a cup of coffee. But, you know, look at what's in front of you. Um, the conversations that you have that may seem meaningless. You run into somebody at Food City that you've not seen in forever and you talk for two minutes. You know, that, that may seem meaningless, but who knows when you'll see that person again. So as these opportunities for us to to do things like that come about let's let's not take it uh, take them for granted and let's just enjoy the time that we have with people as they come instead of focusing so much on what's waiting down the road and maybe passing up a, a very pleasant and very good experience we'll see you guys next time on the money coffee conversation